Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. From Amen. Your Spirit. Brothers and sisters, the Church honors St. Charles Borromeo today, a 16th century reformer, great man who gave his life for the Church and for our Lord, and the Lord invites us to do the same today. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit with which you fill the bishop, St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed, and by confirming herself to the likeness of Christ, may show his face to the world, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My beloved, obedient as you have been, not only when I am present, but all the more now when I am absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without crumbling, grumbling, or questioning that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine like lights in the world, as you hold on to the word of life, so that my boast for the day of Christ may be that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I am poured out as a libation, upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with all of you. In the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Glory to you, O Lord. 
great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion. Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers would laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for terms of peace. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine what we could do with 10,000 tubes. <laughs> That's what it made me think of as you were reading that. Uh, my own last name, there are 10,000 tubes all over the world. St. Charles Borromeo is a man who truly renounced all of his possessions. He came from a, a position, a family of wealth, of power, and he renounced, renounced it all to follow the Lord and not lead a life of comfort, but rather chose the cross. He chose the more difficult path, which was to make other people uncomfortable by being a reformer, by saying we've got to do better in the 16th century church. He was one of the fathers of the Council of Trent and called his priests as the Bishop of Milan uh, to greater sanctity and service. Charles Borromeo models for us this reading of today's Gospel in Luke chapter 14. These are seemingly dark days, dark times. And so I want us to, to meditate and to end with Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the loveliness of the Lord. Charles Borromeo did this in his era of corruption in the church, in government, amongst clergy, civil society, dark time. And he did it one day at a time by allowing Psalm 27 to dissipate the darkness around him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? May we turn to the Lord this day in troubled times, in times of darkness, of of chaos politically for us and global pandemic affecting our health and our families and our finances. The Lord is our rock. He is our light and our salvation. 
even in the midst of darkness. Trusting the Father to care for us as his beloved children, we now present our prayers to him. For our universal church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For peace and harmony among all nations, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the unity of all who believe in Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the health and salvation of all, especially those on our prayer list, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the eternal repose of all who have died, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. For the silent intentions we hold close, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our country in these days, we pray for peace in the hearts of all of our peoples. We pray that there not be violence, looting, riots, but rather a spirit of peace and justice amongst all peoples of this land. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear us as we cry out to you and offer these prayers with confidence. In the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings placed upon your altar in commemoration of St. Charles, and grant by the power of this sacrifice that as you made him an attentive pastor, outstanding in the merit of his virtues, so you make us abound in good fruit by our works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Charles Borromeo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the glory and the power forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take the sin to the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made St. Charles faithful in ministry and fervent in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we receive our Lord on your behalf and Look forward to the day soon, please God, when we can be reunited at the altar for daily Mass. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.